If you are interested in watching the unboxing of the Dolphin Bar, click on the card above. After connecting your Mayflash Dolphin Bar to your computer, flick the toggle switch present at the back to turn it on. The Dolphin Bar has four modes, ranging from 1 to 4. We will set our Dolphin Bar to mode 2. That will be achieved by pressing the mode button repeatedly until the blue LED light gets lit above number 2, indicating that the bar is now set at mode 2. In order to sync your Wii modes with your Dolphin Bar, press on the sync button once. Pick up your Wii mode and press the buttons labeled 1 and 2 simultaneously to sync them to the sensor bar. Alternatively, you can also sync your Wii modes by opening the battery cover of the controller and pressing the red sync button. Okay guys, once you're done syncing up your Wiimote to your Mi Flash Bar, you can now play your Wiimote as a light gun in any arcade emulator of your choice. For demonstration purposes, I'll be setting up my Wiimote inside MAME. I've already MAME set up with the compatible ROM set. If you haven't done that, go back, download MAME and its compatible ROM set and come back. Unfortunately, due to legal reasons, I cannot provide you the links to the compatible ROM set. All I'll say is that Google is your best friend. Anyways, once in you are in when you're in the main UI, uh, search uh, the game of your choice, which I've already had, and it's Time Crisis. It's showing two ROMs. I downloaded two ROMs, so I'll go with the second one. Right-click this, select this, and then right-click this, and then go to Properties. And then you can see a list of options on the left uh, on the left pane of this window. So first you'll go in controller mapping and make sure that your light gun device is selected as light gun here. It sh this should sh this should this drop down uh, this drop down will give you a lot of options and select light gun here. And the mouse device should also be selected as light gun here. Once you're done, now from here you'll move to controllers and make sure this this may be initially be unchecked so you have to check the first option enable light gun input and the multiple mice there are some games that uh, support the off screen shots reload that uh, they uh, for example like house of the dead it features a reload by shooting it outside the screen but time crisis does not need that so we'll leave it and we'll check these two and hit apply hit okay we're done <coughs> Now we'll double click and launch our game. So as you can see it says press any key to continue, we'll hit any key on the keyboard to continue. We'll press it again. And now this is where we'll set our remote. So on your keyboard you'll press the tab key. It will, a, a menu will, a settings menu will pop up. So in this menu first you will go in input general the first one i'll i'll hit the enter key it enters into a new menu you'll select player one controls hit the enter key on the keyboard and then you'll go f down the list and i'm using the down arrow on my keyboard to go down so we go down all the way down and here so you will stop at 80 stick X analog. I've already assigned it. I'll show how you how I assigned it. First, you're going to remove this input, the pre-assigned input. So what? How I'm going to do that? You're going to select this 80 stick X analog, press the enter button on your keyboard, and then hit the escape button on your keyboard, and just do that once. Don't do it a couple of times, else you will exit main. So now you can see. Uh, uh, none is showing next to 80 stick X analog which means that no input has been assigned 
So in order to assign the input, first get a Vmote in your one of your hands uh, and uh, line it up in a way that it's to the left of the screen because you're going to assign it on the x-axis so you will move your Vmote from left to right in the horizontal plane or in the x-axis. So I'm going to press enter on the keyboard and move my Vmote from left to right. So I've pressed enter and I've moved my Vmote from left to right and as you can see it has assigned the x-axis denoted by gun 4 x So that is how you assign your x-axis. And make sure not to move your hand. I'll show you what happens if you are assigning and uh, while assigning if you move your hand. I'll do this again. Let's reset this input. Reset this input. I press enter on my keyboard. I press escape. Oh, sorry, I've gone a step back. Just hold on, please. Sometimes uh, stuff like this happens. Further down. Okay. ADS viewer here, right? So press enter. Hit the escape button on the keyboard. So you remove the input again. <coughs> now you're going to assign it again. And I'll, I'll, I'll move my hand uh, not in a straight line and see what will happen. If I hit the enter key and if I move it in a weird fashion and see, it has messed up. Now it shows f gun 4x and gun 4y. This is not this is not what you want. You just want gun 4x to be showing on the x-axis. So I'm going to remove this input again. Press enter, pre hit the escape button. Then again press enter, move your smooth move your V move smoothly across the screen on a horizontal axis like this, and it is assigned gun 4x. Same uh, same will be applied for gun AD stick Y analog. Don't mess up with other settings, just go to AD stick Y analog. I'll clear this input again and I'll move this my VMOD from top from top to bottom in a straight line after hitting the enter key. I press enter and I boom move down. See I did not move pro, uh, in a straight line and it has messed up so I'll have to remove this again. Uh, hit enter and move smoothly. And now it has assigned the y-axis on the 80 stick y. Once you're done, go further down, <coughs> you are going to assign two more inputs. You're going to assign the gun, light gun x analog, and it will be in the same way as I did. Move your controller across the screen without shaking your hands, and you'll set the x-axis on light gun x analog, and the y-axis on light gun y analog. Once you're done, Go down, further down, and return to previous menu. Uh, return to previous menu. Then you'll go into this input, this machine menu. So you'll hit the enter key, and I'll uh, I'll assign the I'll remove these inputs, pre-assigned inputs, and I'll show you what I'll assign. I'll assign the gun trigger on my V mode's trigger, which is essentially button B of V mode. So what I do is I press enter. I press the trigger button without moving my hands. So it has assigned the gun trigger button on the B button of Vmote. Likewise for foot pedal, foot pedal will be on the button A of my Vmote. So I press enter and press the button A. And uh, we are pretty much done here. So as you can see the light gun X has already been assigned because we did it previously and the light gun Y analog is also previously assigned. If you want to <coughs> assign a coin button you can. I have by uh, by pressing enter and I remove the input by pressing enter and hitting the up D pad on my V mode. So it shows keyboard up because remember in the mode 2 of Mayflash Dolphin bar it will treat your V mode as a keyboard and a computer mouse. So that is why it's showing keyboard up. Or else if you want, if you wish to, you can even assign any other button. For instance, if I want to assign the start button or the plus button on the Vmote, I can even do that. So I press, press the enter button and press the plus button and it has given me keyboard enter. So it's up to you entirely. So once you're done, go to the previous menu, <coughs> return to game, return to machine and now it says because I've already set it on free play in in the game BIOS, so what I'm going to do is press A, which is uh, assigned as a pedal button on the Wiimote. So 
there I go and then I'll press the trigger button to start the game and there we are let's go Action. Action. The Wii mode is working absolutely flawlessly without any issues. No detection issues. No delays. As you can see, I have succeeded in turning a remote into a light gun. To get an even more immersive experience, I am using a Wii gun shell. You can find various gun shells online. I will try my best to leave a link in my description. If you enjoy watching content like this, please make sure to give me a thumbs up on this video, share it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Till then, keep shooting guys. This is Arcave, signing off.